Now in the latest, there has been another sabotage bid that has been reported from Punjab's Bhatinda where iron rods are in fact also found on the tracks in fact. Now viewers, let's also move on to track some other important stories that we are, tra that we are getting at this point of time. India's moon mission Chandrayaan N3 has discovered 160 meter, 160 kilometer wide moon crater near its landing site. The third moon mission continues to make new discoveries on the lunar surface. The new crater has been discovered from data sent back to Earth by the Prayan rover. The rover is currently exploring the moon surface in the celestial body South Pole region. The new site was discovered from data gathered by the Pragran rover when it traversed a highland terrain around 350 km from the Atkin Basin in the South Pole, the largest and the oldest impact basin on the moon's surface. Scientists believe that this will also reveal vital cues on the moon's geological history. This presents a rare scientific opportunity to study one of the earliest geological formations on the celestial body. All right, joining me right now is my colleague Brian Thomas. Brian, now a new ancient Indian crater has also been discovered, which is also crucial to understand the discoveries that are happening on the celestial body. And a crater that has been discovered on the moon, uh, what exactly are the latest details that you're tracking at this point of time? Definitely, uh, Chandrayaan Sreen's Pragyan rover has made a very significant discovery and covering a 160 kilometer wide ancient crater near its landing site on the moon's surface. Now, this new finding also, which offers insight into the moon's early geological evolution, also was even uh, published by scientists also from Ahmedabad's uh, Physical uh, Research Laboratory in Science, uh, Science Direct. Now, the ISRO also has released an emo, uh, image of the Chandrayaan 3 Vikram lander, which was captured by Pragyan rover's navigation camera. And the rover is currently exploring the moon's south pole region, uh, specifically traversing highland terrains about 350 kilometers from the Aitken Basin, which is the moon's uh, largest and oldest impact site. Now, the data from this discovery also includes uh, crucial dust and rock samples that shed light on moon's ancient history. Now, this uh, it's very important to note, and for our all viewers who are listening, also, Simran, this newly discovered crater, which is believed to be to predate the Aitken Basin, is one of the oldest geological structures on the moon. And over time, also, it has become buried under debris uh, from subsequent impacts, making its recent detection a remarkable breakthrough. Now, scientists are also studying high resolution images of the crater taken by the rover's optical cameras, which could provide critical insight into the moon's geological history and even early formation. All right, Brian, thank you for sharing these details. And right now, viewers joining me at the All right, Brian, thank you for sharing the latest that you have tracked in this matter. Now, viewers, India's Chandrayaan 3 mission that continues to, in fact, now uh, come uh, out and make groundbreaking discoveries after its successful mission has ended in the moon in 2023. And in the latest viewers, it is the geological evolution that has now uh, come at the focus where the data beamed back by the Prag Pragyan rover from the moon's outer solar polar south polar region has led to the discovery of a of an ancient creator all right joining me on the broadcast viewers is group captain v n cha who is a senior scientist thank you for speaking to news x sir and we appreciate you giving us your time. Now, in the latest discoveries that have been made by India's Chandrayaan 3 mission, it is in fact the discovery of an ancient crater. And, you know, at this point of time, the Pragyan rover, which has discovered 160 kilometer wide buried crater near the landing site, the findings also by the scientists in the laboratory uh, reveal a lot of geological evolution that consists with more studies which can help uh, the India on um, in fact um, Chandrayaan mission to study the celestial body even more. Very good morning Simran and to all your viewers. Yes, they are the findings which, are, which were expected uh, uh, for a long. Uh, you may remember when uh, Chandrayaan 3 had gone for landing, it had taken a uh, running uh, video of uh, those uh, the 
terrain of uh, uh, moon, moon surface. And while it was approaching towards the landing site, we had all seen many of the uh, craters uh, which uh, were unexplained and which we expected in the coming time, in the coming months and years. It will be analyzed by the ISO scientists in detail and then obviously they will come with their findings and that is what right now we are seeing. On the South Pole, uh, you know, the, the, the rotational velocity is very less. So if any object, any celestial object comes and uh, impacts the moon's surface, uh, it is likely to make a very good crater right uh, vertical uh, and th that is what we are seeing here right now. Moons, surface has got a lot of uh, mysteries, uh, uh, why it is made of what it is, uh, those uh, questions have to be answered by many and scientists are up to uh, the task to find out the various things what is there on the moon surface. We were also expecting that many of the celestial body which has crashed into the moon surface creating uh, uh, either the crater or disintegrating into the dust and the stone pieces will be picked up by the rover and uh, subsequent other uh, objects which can analyze those uh, either the stones or the uh, craters or the impact uh, uh, signs and uh, telltale sign that we call it. So that is what it is going on right now. We were also expecting some of the newer uh, elements to be, uh, you know, uh, discovered there on the surface. Uh, we know there are about 108 odd elements in the periodic table that science knows today about. We were expecting that something more will be uh, revealed there on the lunar surface with the modern uh, analyzer on the surface of the moon. But that is yet to come. But, you know, in the coming days, uh, you can expect a lot many things will be revealed by the scientific instruments which go either onto the surface of the moon or if there is a mysterious rock which has been brought back to the Earth. Uh, the scientific analysis, the, 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 the detection of those newer particles could be possible here on the Earth itself. So in the coming uh, years, when more and more missions are made onto the uh, lunar surface, we can expect many of the uh, mysteries to be revealed, uh, many of the mysteries of the universe to be revealed because we must know that these impacts by the celestial body are from the unknown sources. It could be from within the solar system or it could be outside, from the outside of the solar system. So whether it is a comet, asteroid, or a celestial body which impacts the lunar surface, uh, can uh, leave their telltale signs of what it is made of, what is its origin, whether it is a simple moon like another uh, stone pieces, or it is a diamond uh, uh, rock object which is crashing onto it, or it is some absolutely mysterious things that we don't know much about it. We can also expect that there are many of the asteroids which are made of, uh, you know, vaporizing fluids. It could be water, it could be other fluids, uh, which we often see as a comet. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.